or Bryce and Monkey. You know, a classic duo like Starsky and Hutch or Turner and Hooch. Okay, fine. Like Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. I'm so excited to talk about Hit Monkey. Uh, I just adore this show, uh, first and foremost. And I see we're recording, so I'll just roll right in. But I mean, yeah, this was one of my, season one was one of my favorite shows. And I'm so glad that we're finally back for season two. And it <laughs> felt like it felt like forever to hear about anything about season two. What was it like for you, you know, waiting to to get the- I just, in this, in this business, first of all, thank you. I'm so glad you love it. And it is one of my favorite projects. Uh, seeing it all come together, I'm so excited about this show. I really am. It has all the craziest elements in it between the comedy and the supernatural and, the, and just everything. It's just, so for me, uh, two surprises were happening there when I, uh, well, in this business, when you wait a long time and you, you just don't know what goes through or not. And I just kept hoping, hoping, hoping we're going to get another one, but you didn't hear, you don't hear, you don't hear, you know, and I kind of kept it on the back burner saying, oh man, I, we have another story. We have so much more to tell. And then when we, I found out it was been greenlit, it was like a, I felt a celebration, you know, I was just so happy to hear it. Um, we all were, I mean, so there's that element. The other one that I tell people, which is funny, from the first season, uh, I had worked on it and I work sort of solo. Like, I don't get to work with the cast, unfortunately. I mean, you know, I'd love to, but... So I got kind of, I read the scripts, I get the sense of the comedy and the time, but I had no idea how funny it was going to be. You know, like, I, I mean, really funny. Like, Jason Sudeikis just brings in, like, these quips. The writing is already funny, but the, he surprises me with like all the great jokes and all the comments. And remember, I'm the sort of the sad, the monkey ironically is the sad straight man. You know, he's full mm -hmm. of pathos and there's not much irony to him. You know, he's just, he's sad and hates the killing, you know? And so it's, it, it's very interesting to see like how I ended up working one end of it, but then seeing it all together, it was a whole other experience. And I, I just loved it. It definitely is so interesting with the show's concept, how, like you say, the monkey is the straight man to yeah. the quippy ghost. <laughs> That's right. Totally. Yeah. And, 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 a, and a depressive, yeah, really, like he's just, he's a very moving, sad character. You know what I mean? I, I love him. <laughs> but I didn't realize just how wacky what he was facing, you know, and that's to that's to uh, Jason's credit, too, and the writers, you know, I just like, wow, he just he's killing it. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I did want to actually look then at season two and his arc in that. I mean, we you, you've mentioned it a little bit, but he is far. He's struggling far more this season as he's coming to terms with the morality of what he is doing what is that like for you from the performance side trying to imbue that into grunts and and everything for him that's a great question yeah first of all his arc is amazing because he's dealing not only with the super with hell you know and the devil but his daughter you know and then trying to and then not only he's got an ebenezer scrooge element where he gets to hear he's a dead guy a ghost getting to hear everyone complain about him you know and it's hilarious because he can't defend himself and the monkey is his only contact through, I mean, he has powers. It's like he can, he can do telekinetic. He can do some great ghost, ghosty stuff. What do you call it? Casper the Friendly Ghost. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but uh, yeah, the, the, uh, the monkey, for me to be doing the sounds is another thing. Um, yes, uh, trying to extract what he says in so many grunts and then commenting on what he says. In so many, and so my job is a very, mu it's a strange job. It's kind of part musical. It's like I show up with a broken saxophone and here's here's what I have to express. And so usually when I make, oh, ah, 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 I know what I'm saying while I'm doing it. You know, um, they edited it brilliantly though, because I don't get to work off of him. So when I see what they did and they put the grunt perfectly, what are you talking about? Oh, that's what I said. You know, like they really got the rhythm down comic rhythm down so brilliantly the editing is insane uh so for me as a performer it's it's the monkey knows that he's he's the in-between and is has his own feelings and comments what he says and comments to the ghost but also the ghost he has to be able to give maybe the nicest version of what the ghost said 
You know, you know what I mean? That, that's, you know, uh, he's not, he's not going to agree with Bryce and he's not going to say everything that Bryce says, obviously, but there's going to be a little bit of a, an attempt at a translation, you know? And so, cause he, you know, it's, it's a very, it's a very cool, it's a very different kind of job. It really is. And it's, I, I, I treasure it. I love that it pre presents you with such unique challenges in that way. Yeah. So that's, that's great to hear. Now, do you think by this point that Bryce actually can understand the monkey somewhat because they have such a rapport. Uh, oh, most definitely. Her. He definitely understands the monkey. Oh, they are in complete cahoots. They really are. They have a psychic spiritual connection and he knows exactly. It's an R2D2 3PO. You know, they, 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 they completely know what's, what's, what's going on and he knows what's what. And he even knows he's so connected to me and we are such a buddy. It's a buddy movie. I mean, it really is in many ways. They are a team, really a great team together. But and he, he knows how the monkey feels and he feels bad for the monkey. He does. He, he really is like, yeah, but hey, man, this is life. This is what you got to do, you know, and, and, and I can't go where he goes because of his darkness and his kind of cynicism. I'm here to stop. I want my arc is I would like to end all this. I'd like to, you know, we have a job to do. Definitely, but I don't take a great joy in it, and and um, unless I get on fire and I can't stop myself, you know, <laughs> like really, it's and he knows that. I think Bryce knows that, and is very. It really treats him. They're, they're a real friendship. It's a real connection, not just not just they don't want to be together. No, they they. There's love. There's definitely love, and there's a ah. Uh, I want to get too choked up, but there's a scene you'll see where you, you get that between the two of them. There's a wonderful friendship that, that, that blossoms. I yeah. think I know the thing you're talking about, and I yeah, love it. Yeah, it's almost family. Yeah, it's beautiful. You know, yeah. in the midst of all chaos <laughs> and violence <laughs> and humor. That's what, that's what I love about the show. It's like, how can you have something be so moving and but just be downright hilarious on one end? It's a comedy, and then it's a real action, like pull no punches literally pull no punches or you know a scary piece of business <laughs> you know at the same time it's got like three yeah. or four worlds <laughs> yeah people getting cut in half and all that good jazz Ooh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> it is you insane know, it feels bad he says come on that guy was a degenerate what are you feeling bad about ah, oh, ah, ah, i know <laughs> you know it's like <laughs> i love their partnership so um you, you mentioned that you don't get to act alongside anybody else, but I'm curious, you know, in the recording process, sometimes voice actors get to work off of animation, sometimes they don't. And this season in particular felt like the animation was so experimental, or experimental and innovative in comparison to season one. Did you get the opportunity to see any of it while you were performing? Most definitely. I didn't see the finished, always the finished product. Because sometimes what I do is I come in and I do post stuff. You know, we, we record things before, like a radio play, and then we will then look at or looking at an animatic which is the you know animated storyboard and then uh sometimes they flushed it all out and then i'm going to follow it um so i got to see it all in the different stages uh which was great um especially in the beginning um and toward the end there i had we had to do a lot of like recording of just random things to get it all clean up and that's when i saw the animation put together i was like wow uh, but I never saw until I got sent the episodes. I didn't get the mag. I saw the magic, you know, like of all the humor and, and the crazy animation that is in this, uh, and the terrifying characters. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, um, I mean, I had already, worked, you know, I, I, I did the first season, so I was kind of well versed in what the world was by now. When I, by the time I started the second one, but uh, it was uh, very interesting to. Uh, to see it all come together. Like I said in the beginning, I was just playing such straight drama and trust trying to sell the drama as the monkey. And I had no idea how insane it was actually going to be, you know? Yeah. The, 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 for the second season too, I, I, I knew the stories better, you know, I knew what was going to happen, but I just didn't realize, you know, the whole, the other character arcs that were going on. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy how layered the show is and yeah. how, the stakes really got raised this season. Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like, in, in ways I never even thought we were going to go at all. Like, it's no. 
<laughs> we went, a, they, they went deep. They did. <laughs> I see I'm oh. almost out of time. Yeah, I know. Hell. Uh, <laughs> I see I'm almost out of time. So before I let you go, I got to know, is there a future for this show? Because, I mean, it leaves on quite the harrowing note for Monkey and for it, Bryce it, and everybody else. Uh, now I, I, I hope so because I want to see what happens. I, I, I mean, it's a whole, without a spoiler alert, I don't want to spoil this, this, but this is now very different <laughs> where we leave this. So uh, I I think we have to. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm so excited about it that, that I hope we do. I, again, your, your lips to God's ears, <laughs> you know, that we get to do this, you know. But I, I hope, hope so too. I think, I think the audiences will really, and I'm not just trying to push it, I think people will really love it. No, I, I totally totally agree with you. (laughs) Most original rides, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I totally agree with you. And also just entertaining. Like I'm watching it for the content and then I find myself pulled out laughing out loud, not expecting to laugh. That's (laughs) that, that it it just comes in when you don't (laughs) expect it, you know? Yeah. I mean, I said I watched all ten episodes in one sitting because I was like, I can't stop here. I have to keep going. Oh no, I definitely can't stop here. I got to keep going. <laughs> it's a it's a page turner, you know. And it was a graphic novel and a comic book, you know. But it is it's a page turner. Yeah. So I'm glad you like it. Thanks. You know, that's that's great. <laughs> Absolutely. And I I can't wait to keep spreading the word about this show. I I mean, it's, it's so good. And I, I they sent uh, sunglasses for the season one junket, and I still wear them all the time because <laughs> I, I love. Book. Oh, I should have worn. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know. I was like, if I'm if I wasn't indoors for this interview, I'd be wearing them. But, oh yeah, uh, <laughs> I gotta no, get I, me some of those. Yeah, I love them. And, and yeah, they got the hit monkey on the side and everything. It's awesome. So <laughs> I I like I, I'm not blowing smoke. I love this show. I I always will support it, and I'm gonna keep m- putting the good word out there for you. Thank you. I really appreciate it, Grant. Thank you. And Absolutely. For a fabulous yeah. interview. Great questions. Thank you. I greatly, I always love hearing that. It, it makes me feel better that I'm doing my job. So thank you. And I hope you have a great rest of your week. Yeah, you too. Thanks so much. Ooh, ah, take care. <laughs> this monkey is kind of impressive. I don't know. The suit, the sunglasses, feels a little gimmicky. 